plastic comes in cheap i had i put that so whatever resources i had i built a first prototype whatever resources i could invest in second aspect what i did is measured where i was telling you what are the loopholes in this that is called measure i measured that this cap maybe could not work the shape could not work the the base could not work the material cannot work the whole plastic this whole plastic is also not something very very good for a water bottle this could not work so now guys i measured all the changes and based on the measurement of these changes i learned that these are the innovations i need to do these are the changes i need to do in my product and that is when i created the second the, the final prototype if i had not created this one had i created this would this have been possible without this no right so that is why i say creating your first prototype is very very important building your first prototype is building your mvp is very very important that's why it called it, it is called as minimum viable proposition it's called minimum not maximum minimum means whatever minimum you can produce with limited amount of resources go ahead and produce that right right minimum go ahead and produce the minimum shape so that you can show to your customers and then build your proposition further based on the feedback based on the loop right so this is called as bml of course not bandra mulun it's called build measure and learn right build measure and learn building something measuring the impact learning those all those changes doing the changes and learning now there could be multiple cycles in between that right it's not that i've just explained you this and this magically appears right this could be various various changes various cycles in between right various cycles in between i would have made so many changes so many prototypes so many other changes need to be done on this as well so this keeps on repeating it's like an ever growing circle ever growing circle i did a build measure learn with this now i'll produce this product in the market and i'll do a build measure learn in this i'll build this again based on the feedback measure the feedback and learn and do this and this keeps on happening it's an ever growing it's an ever lasting journey because your customers are never satisfied they would always want an extra thing to to be there in your product or service right so this keeps on happening with time with change with so many things consider dropbox when it started for example dropbox started as just a directory website so it's not a file website you could just put in your directory files there your extension files there your yellow pages you would have heard directories so thick directories that come into houses with telephone old telephone phones started out as a directory then they moved towards screencast screencast you heard right now you can you have smart tvs right you can connect it through an amazon fire stick or sometimes it comes in integrated into your tv but in earlier days there was a feature in phones a feature in devices called a screencast where you could whatever you are coming into your screen you could cast it onto your main tv or whatever it was dropbox started out as a 3 minute screencast learned what are the changes figured out that sharing files is one of the biggest challenge right from one device to the another and that's what led them to dropbox right now of course they are one of the biggest free flowing file exchange company in the world so you start from somewhere make those changes and then it happen if dropbox would not have started out as a directory website and then as a screencast it would never figured out that there is that there is also a problem of file sharing so that is called as a build measure learn and let's talk about zomato examples as well right let's talk about indian examples too zomato started out what you could just zomato started out where you could just see the menu of a restaurant on the website and you can just order from it that's it i am just up clicking the photo of a menu menu card putting it out on a website giving you a number to call that's it no zomato pro no dine out no gold nothing no zomaland nothing nothing of that sort 
all started out from very very basic then zomato improvised figured out that it's not just about picking up the restaurants it's not just about listing restaurants i should also pick up restaurants from my for my customers if let's say i come into bandra tomorrow and says that what is the best restaurant here how would i figure out that for myself because you are telling me all the restaurants that is there but which one is best for myself that is when zomato built an algorithm to make predictions that this can be the best restaurants for you based on your cuisine based on your past restaurants that you have eaten at right all of that then zomato did further that no uh, not 100% of the people order they sometimes want to go and have food in a physical setup as well that's when they've entered into a dining market right now they of course do so many activities zomato uh it's not just it's not just a food ordering website it's, it is so much right now so much more than food it's data that they have all of that of customers last month itself zomato i think in a single day they crossed 2 million orders 2 million orders in a single day so you all start from somewhere basic you measure you learn and you make changes accordingly so this is called build measure learn and this is in fact also called as mvp you develop something from nothing then you take feedback then you make changes you test out your hypothesis and then you make changes accordingly so that concludes a quick brief intro on lean startup and mvp happy to take in questions now so in raj and shalaka i hope your questions get answered if they are not you can ask me again any more questions so yes so, so how do we acquire our first 100 or 1000 customers for our startup got it before i do before i answer that let me just do one last thing let me share the video of which summarizes uh, all what i've talked about today summary of today's session it's in fact uploaded by me only i create content of all these questions on youtube so you go ahead watch this and maybe if you like it subscribe it as well that is my number one thing another thing that i'll tell you nishal just coming to your questions in a quick bit because i realized that once you start asking question people start to drop off so let me take this moment to sort of firstly tell the resources so even if you're dropping off you know what to do next this is a very beautiful book on lean startup if you want to further it's by eric rice called lean startup only so it's a best seller easily find it on amazon or even on any bookstore it's a beautiful book to read on lean startup what are the different with all again different all aspects of it how do you test out hypothesis of products similar to what you do in stats right you test you have another hypothesis you have an alternate hypothesis you test it against something so eric rice book on lean startup is the go to guide for studying this concept and of course being a bit narcissist my own youtube video also would help you in some way so yeah now coming to that's the resources coming to nishal questions on how to get your first 100 customers that again in fact is covered in another youtube video so you should go do, do go ahead and subscribe to that channel but now coming back to the answer of course is first 100 customers that would happen would happen mostly of your own inner groups peers and a little bit of word of mouth so three types of people would buy your your first products first is your friends wherein you would say if you don't buy my product our friendship is finished our bro code is not here oh. now right so you do all of that second is family of course you'll pressure as your family you'll put them into an emotional trauma please buy my product support your son or daughter for 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 a change right a third is a word of mouth where what people do is they promote your products right either on social media they put up a nice fancy story on instagram or of course on they put up a post somewhere they promote up your products or either they tell it to their friends then go ahead and buy this product it's amazing or buy this service it's amazing that is the word of mouth which comes in free you don't have to pay anything for it so your first 100 customers would typically come from that only either your friends or your family or your word of mouth and it's important that you take changes you take measures you take feedback from all of these so that you can incorporate it before you list it out on amazon or list it out on social media further Important to take these the, their their uh, feedback. Yeah. Michelle, I hope that answers. Yes.
I think someone muted in between. So any any questions? Was there any question there? Sir, I have a question. Uh, I wanted to ask that uh, whenever you are starting your idea into a like a uh, growing business or startup, whom to whom you should like communicate with and like how to gather your uh, product, uh, like the ones who are building, helping you in building your product, how to co uh, communicate and how to gather those people. And also uh, without the fear of get, uh, getting your idea leaked or something. So you're saying how to communicate your product or idea to someone without get without having the fear that it will it will be leaked, yeah. right? And also like uh, gather resources like uh, let's say uh, uh, I want raw materials. So how mm. to communicate and gather those people who are providing raw materials for that product? <clears throat> so see, I'll quickly answer it. Although it's not related to lean startup, but again, guys. So. I'm more available on social media as well. You can easily find me. So whatever question they are there, which are not related to lean startup in some way or the other, let's take it offline because these are more detailed oriented questions. Like with answer your question as well, how to ask for an equity. That's another 45 minute session. So, uh, let's take it offline. But today's question I wanted more around lean startup so that we can come stick to the agenda for today. I can do in of course, more sessions as well. That's not a problem. But Jinesh, I'll not dodge your question. Quickly answer it. First thing first, I'll say that don't figure out whenever you're doing this lean startup, don't fear that someone will copy this, your idea. Someone will copy your maybe your innovation. Nobody can copy your innovation, right? You've designed, if I designed this product, I designed it. It's not just a product. It's not a photocopy. You can create a photocopy of it and copy. I put my thinking behind it, right? Why I have used this much of height only for the flask or why I made the bottle this long, right? All of this has my own thinking attached to it. And even if you copy the product, will you be able to sell the same product as me tomorrow? You are not right. Everybody creates phones. MI creates phones. Apple creates phones. OnePlus creates phones, but there's a difference in the sales of all of them because everyone has a different uniqueness or a different strategy attached to it. You can't copy the products as it is, right? So don't fear that the idea will get leaked. Idea is nothing. Like if I have thought of an idea, you've thought of an idea. That means have you copied from me, right? It's not like that. Maybe would have, we would have thought at the same point of time. So don't fear the idea of getting it leaked. Make it in fact more, build it more in public so that you can get the feedback, right? You can get the feedback from people directly, right? So that is, that is the second thing that I want to say and um, how to promote your products is something similar. Even if I know that this product is worth hundred, I would sell it for 60 because my first feedback, my first aim is to not make money out of it is to get feedback on it. If I get good quality feedback on it, I will make millions tomorrow. Right? So my aim is not to earn a lot of money. So whenever I'm selling the product, my aim, the way I'm selling is I need your feedback. I need your inputs on this. Even if you buy it at 50 rupees, I'm at 50% loss. No worries. I'm not here to make money right up front. I'm here to build a good quality product. Once I have a product, I make money. I know, right? So that is how you should communicate. Ask for feedback, ask for their valuable inputs on this. Tell them that they are also like product managers for this. They're also building it alongside you, right? How credit started, right? Credit for the first two years did nothing, nothing. The idea was that just download credit and just have fun, these fancy ads. Where of course, Govinda looks like Michael Jackson, right? So, so many, so fancy ads, but the idea was to get a feedback, to get them registered somewhere, to just make them interested and do nothing, right? To get their credit scores. That was the entire thing. People thought that they are downloading credit. Oh my God. So, so many subscriptions are for free. So much good is happening. Are you giving your data, right? So that's why the aim is to just get feedback, to just get people interested in this. That's it. If they are interested in this, they'll buy it again from you. That's, that's the whole point. So I hope that answers Janish. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And 
the one more thing was that uh, how to like if you are just you just gave an example of a bottle so you are reading this product so how you how you got the raw materials and how to gather those people actually that yeah. was so that is again a different side of the roof which is your more of your vendor management and how do you source your vendors so i purposely did not answer that question because that is a bit not not what we are discussing right now today not related okay, to the okay. topic we can discuss it offline i'll drop in my uh, you can find me on aditya roda's different on the different social media that's my instagram handle as well if you want you can dm me there and you can kind of answer that as well but just be a bit patient uh, in in getting the response i'll definitely get back okay thank you sir thank you so i'll go to the next question i think by vedanshu uh, and guys i'll just take the one or couple of questions more We've got another session starting up at 12 so a bit strapped up on time today uh, is how does one maintain their motivation through the journey of a lean startup because like any startup there are lots of ups and downs very good question so now uh, again the motivation is that i'll get to the final product that's the motivation and i get to the final product i'll solve the needs for my customers i'll create a product as per what they have told me and they'll go ahead and buy it that's the hope that's the mission that's the belief that's the motivation and ups and downs are there like if i'm creating a product product does not get created today everything started from a, of course you've watched so much of silicon valley everything started out from a garage right they say in silicon valley right so everything starts out small very very small amazon microsoft all these of course are what we call as garage based companies even disney so again the idea is that leaps ups and downs are there but the pursuit which you are following in lean startup to getting a final product to understanding your customers to maintaining a creating a relationship with them right i'm also in this whole cycle i'm also creating a relationship with you right i'm getting your feedback i'm getting close to you i'm listening to your answers i'm listening more to your problems i'm creating a customer for a lifetime when i'm doing this with so that is the motivation you are try, targeting that in the in the hindsight maybe 5 or 10 years down the line all this work that i'm doing would give me a lot of rewards yeah Yeah. So I think next question again, Warren. It's something which is what makes a successful marketing strategy. Because you were asking me so open-ended questions that I could go on and on. And again, marketing strategies. There's no one answer to it. So let's take it offline. If you have any specific question, then that would be more great. Otherwise, this is this is a whole course, Sir? whole course in MBA colleges, MBA in marketing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think Sumit, you unmuted. hello sir oh. yes sir sir my question is that uh, innovation is all about cost cutting but innovation also accounts cost so how it is possible for a startup to finance that innovation at the early stages with less capital <clears throat> yeah and i'll answer this question because this is somewhere related to lean startup but total market size again for a startup guys these are again you're asking me 45 minutes 15 minutes question i total market size i had to explain it to you granularly to take a lot of time but don't worry uh, we can take this question more offline or we can do another session that's not a problem so sumit but answering your question so how do you do this how do you finance your innovation when you are pro- producing this because this that also requires cost that is when you say that whatever money you are coming from your customers even if it's 50% of it you are not taking that money in your pocket you are reinvesting that money back into the product so if i let's say sell a product for 50 i get 50 rupees i know my production cost for the next product is 30 rather than taking 50 to my pocket i put 30 in that and to keep 20 as a contingency or a reserve in case some spoilage happens so that is how you rotate money early on whatever money you get you put that into development of the startup then you get more revenue from it then you do this entire cycle this also is a build measure learn it's it's also a feedback loop it's also a cash cycle that you keep rotating right that's how you reinvest you regrow and you create the purpose you accordingly of course you would also have to invest some portion from your own as well right and that's necessary too because that shows your commitment towards the startup right if you haven't invested your own money that means that you're not serious about it as well so build some something from your own but the best comes from your customers money that's what customers money for are for that's what i that's why i said the purpose is not to earn revenue the purpose is just to get that minimum cash 
from them they'll pay for this and reinvest that reinvest that reinvest that to make final product oh that answer the question sumit yes sir yes thank you sir yeah i think the last question guys that i'll take uh and then of course we can take up offline earlier you explained about the concept of not diversifying your focus through the example of a pen cap attached to things so why not cut down on your production of existing units and make other products uh to check whether it's accepted by customers again i'll quickly explain this um so one is there are two things one is called as innovation second is called as improvement what i meant here is that innovation if it has to come it has to you have to do something again right but we are not talking about innovation here what we are talking about is improvement every time i am improving the product right improving the product as per some specifications improving the product as per what customer wants and that is where that is where i am moving into a better uh, production environment where i am not reducing a lot of cost this is a product i am just putting small small additions to it or small subtractions from it and creating those final lines of product i'm not creating more of these i'm just creating one of them improving that getting accepted and then creating more of these right that's the cycle that i want to do i want to have one product minimum viable proposition that's why it's it one product which gets accepted i can produce these more and the cost would be less so that's how i'm rotating my cycle that's how i'm managing cash that's how i'm managing all the additional cost that i need to do i hope that explains the question i mean Good. Yeah, great. Thanks. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for inviting guys. Thank you so much to all the organizers as well. Uh, and yeah, look forward to interacting with you further. And yeah, please do watch the video. Please do buy the book if you want to study more on it. Yeah, keep hustling, guys. That's what uh, our our age is about. It's about hustling and not settling. So let's let's keep hustling. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. See you. Take care. And yeah, guys, you. before leaving, please fill the feedback form. Thank you, sir.